What you see here is the caterpillar of a variegated fritillary butterfly. That leaf that it's on is a wild violet, and wild violet around here is very plentiful and we consider it to be a weed. As well as wild violet being a host plant, another one that comes to mind is passion vine. I needed a place to put this caterpillar, so I used this little seed starting tray that I have for my gardening activities. And it works great for raising one caterpillar or observing a very small insect or something like that. So I just took out the seed starting tray, which will work great. Another handy feature on this tray is the multiple sizes of vent holes that can be adjusted however you like. Since we have plenty of wild violet, I just put several leaves in there and then put the leaf with the caterpillar on it on top. So that caterpillar will have plenty to eat. If you're wondering about those little black spikes all over this caterpillar, this caterpillar does not sting. I think the color of the caterpillar probably deters predators more than the spikes. I just put the top on, took it indoors, and before you knew it, it was time for this little caterpillar to turn into a chrysalis. The first thing they do is anchor themselves so they can hang straight down. Then it's time to wiggle their way out of their old caterpillar skin. That can take them quite a while sometimes, so I'm going to speed it up so it won't take as long. At this point, they will just hang there and wiggle until that old skin falls. Once they get rid of that old skin, then their new skin begins to harden and they get the full appearance of what a chrysalis looks like. Here's a look at the old caterpillar skin once it was shed. And here's a look at the chrysalis after it had time to harden. Fritillary butterflies can have some really beautiful chrysalises. The miracle of nature goes on for another couple of weeks inside the chrysalis and then it's time for the butterfly to emerge. Compared to the rest of the process, they come out of their chrysalis fairly quickly. But they don't really look like a butterfly when they first emerge because they're all balled up and quite wrinkled. The newly emerged butterfly will hang there and slightly move its wings until they are completely dry, which can take several hours. I wanted to give you a good look at this one, so I got it out before it was completely dry. They usually won't try to fly until they are fully dry, so that gave us a chance to see just how beautiful they are. I put this one back in its enclosure and then released it later. Let us know if you've ever raised a fritillary butterfly from a caterpillar to a butterfly. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.